So how many times have I actually finished this game? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's... Oh, is it about nine, maybe? It might be about nine. Eight or nine times. Roughly. I mean, that is a lot. But I that just shows you, I, I, I love this game too much. Doug's Item Shop. So let's have a look. I'll just chat to you first. So that's where we're heading, that's our objective. We got a ticket to the play. I don't know if that's been made clear yet. But we have to get our ticket stamped at the ticket booth before we can get into the castle. So that's what we're gonna try and do. What a cozy little shop. And I can't talk to this guy. We don't actually need to buy anything right now. We can't even afford a tent. I can't talk to this guy, Doug, without thinking of the uh, Nickelodeon cartoon. Used to watch that a lot. No, I don't want to talk to you again. I'm trying to find... There, there it is. Some more money. That is sort of distracting when you're near NPCs like that. I wonder if you can turn it off. I didn't see an option in the uh, config, but I might have missed it. Anyway, into the main square, that is the ticket booth. We're not going to go there just yet. We've got some other shit to find. Now, of course, playing this version of the game, I'm not going to be able to rely on save states. So, playing the card game, if I lose a card, I'm probably going to have to either reload, which I'm probably not going to do because I'm lazy, or... Uh, Try and win it back. An ether. This is the synthesis. I'm taking my wife to the theatre tonight. We shall close soon. You can't do actually. You can't can't actually do anything with this guy. The synthesists. Um, they become available later. So I shall explain what they are later. In case you uh, you don't know. Ah, oh, they're so happy. Isn't that nice? No, I didn't want to leave. Just checking for items. I must get as many items as I can. Get back in there. Little question mark, question mark man. AKA VV, because I spoiled it. I'm such a dick sometimes. Remedy. Ryan. He's trying to decide which sword to buy. Sticking with the pointy end. Uh, so we can't actually buy any weapons. And this dude's son is somewhere else. Oh, hang on. Hang about. There was something on the wall there, wasn't there? Recruiting new Knights of Pluto members. The Knights of Pluto? Who are they? Uh, come, all you brave young men. Let us protect the Queen and our beautiful country together. Captain Knights of Pluto. I wonder who that is. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, it's the hippo kid again. Now, yeah, if you talk to him now, he, uh, he talks about his three precious cards in a safe place. Now, I believe we can go find those cards and steal them. And that's what we're going to do. After we continue looting the place. A phoenix pinion. That is a rather special item, I suppose. Revives characters in battle, but it uh, it can only be used in battle. But it's also an accessory, I think. So, yeah, they're not going to let us in the castle yet. That's fine. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, I have to do this. The little skipping mini game. Let's see how well I do. Yeah, sure. Now, you can get special items if you do this correctly. Just going to time it right. Let's see how we do. Occasionally, I'll manage to get over 100. And you get rewards at 50, 100, and I think eventually, if you're insane, you can get even better rewards if you get into the hundreds. But, I don't think I've ever managed that. Gets quicker after every landmark. Come on. Oh god. This is where it gets tricky. Fuck! I knew. Oh, I'm, I'm trying that again. 
because I twitched. I twitched at the wrong time, but we did get... Uh, what was it? The Cactuar card, and uh, yeah, the, the more arrows you have in the corners and the, the edges of the card, the better. That's not great, but it's actually not a bad card, that stat-wise, I think. Um, yeah, I, I will explain the card game in it once we start playing. Which will probably be fairly soon, because we're going to meet a character that will actually teach us the rules. So I might actually listen to him this time. So we're going to try this again. Not to twitch this time, mage. And I, I don't know about you- oh, what? Really? I'm going to do this. I'm going to get 100 at least. I don't know about you guys, but I never watch the rope. Maybe I should do. I always watch for the uh, excla uh, exclamation pop-up, you know. I never watch the rope. I don't trust it. Just getting the timing right, that's all it is. That makes my eyes go funny. Staring at this for too long. Come on, we can do this. No! 76! That was better. That was better. I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be the whole video. Just me playing this damn minigame. And FF9, it has a lot of minigames. Oh, really? I might have to do this off screen. It's gonna take me years. I'm usually better than this though. But it has been a while. Because you can press it too soon and that'll uh, obviously not be very good. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. Can I do this one-handed? I can. I can. Oh, that. No, I can't. Dab you nose. Just had to itch, didn't you? I just want a hundred, because you can get another cool card, and I need it. I want it badly. I don't know what the other prizes are. I might have to look that up. I shall look that up in between videos. I tried looking at the rope then, but it just... Oh, it's, it's not good. Not good. No way! I'm sucking at this! You know what? I'm going to cut to when I actually fucking manage it. Right, uh, as you can see, I did manage to get another card from the skipping game. I managed a measly 104. And... Yeah, so you got this card here, the Genji card. It's got some decent, you know, stats, I think. However, I've done some research, and apparently you can get a reward of the Alexandria card when you get 200 jumps. At 300, you get the Tiger Racket card, and at 1,000, you get the King of Jump Rope key item, which doesn't really do anything. Um, but apparently in this version, there's like an achievement for it, or a, you know, Steam achievement thing. I don't know if I'm ever going to manage that. I'm just not good enough at that minigame. My eyes go and I get the I end up fucking up the timing. So maybe I'm not going to get all the cards in this uh, playthrough. I don't know. I don't know. Is there another way of getting those cards? I know for a fact there is another opportunity to do this minigame later on in the game. So maybe I'll try again then. But for now we're just going to carry on because we're not really doing much. <laughs> so this is the hotel, I think. What do you mean there's no vacancies? Yes, you're really quite sorry. That's a, that's a fish with a pipe. That is a fish smoking a pipe. Yikes. Oh, they are. They are a little bit. Sorry, no vacancies today. Oh, 
Pardon me, sir. Out of the way, please. Sorry. Oh, look, it's another hippo woman. I wonder if you're that little kid's mum. Busy, busy, busy. I think, I think so. So, nothing in the lobby. Let me go down the stairs. We are polite. What is that picture of, anyway? Don't know. Nothing that way. No. So if you come out this way, you're on the balcony. But I don't think there's any items in that hotel, is there? That's weird. Well, doesn't seem to be anything. How strange. Right, uh, unless I've missed something. I'm just gonna exit. Uh, head down this little alleyway. Now, if we... If we walk... Nothing happens. See that guy just knocking in that sign? But if we run... Oh, if we... If we run... Oh. Can't you see I'm working? Don't interrupt. Dante the sign maker. Uh, maybe we've bypassed that then. Well, we'll be back this way in a minute anyway. Something happens if you uh, if you don't walk past him. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice quiet side of town, this. No one's house. Now, yeah, little girl guarding the stairs. We can't get past her at the moment. And this is Elia. Or, or uh, however you say her name. Now this is the little girl that that woman was making a dress for. So this must be where she actually lives. The parents. Don't know where the parents are right now. And the grandparents live in the centre of town. We have some eye drops. Cures blindness. If we go around the side, don't think we can. Now, if we leave the house now, she might end up running out herself. Clearing the path up to the uh, second level. Is she going to run out? Come on. There she goes. So we head up here. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, I feel like a dick for doing this. We get three gil. You can tell that is all she has in the entire world. And we've just taken it from her. We don't need that gil. But we took it anyway. Because we're dicks. Now we can go in that church. Ah, in fact, we will do. We will do. We did a tent! Yeah, that's actually the best item we found, I think, apart from the Phoenix Pinion. Uh. I don't know why. I always. I know for a fact there's no items behind here, but I always check. Because you never know. I might have always missed it. Uh, so we climb this steeple. And you remember the hippo kid said uh, he hid his cards in a safe place? Well. Would you look at that? A tiny little chest. We get the Ironite card. Goblin and Fang. Now those last two are pretty shit. Well, depending on the arrows at this stage of the game, they might be okay. But the Ironite card's actually pretty nice. Uh, let's check it out. There it is. Decent arrows as well. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, sorry about that. I just got interrupted as I was explaining the uh, the cards we got. I can't remember what else I was saying. It probably wasn't too important anyway. So, uh, I think there's, there's a couple of people we can talk to down here. The boatman. So he's tried sneaking in, but the guards caught him. That's a shame. Oh, this dude. I like this dude. Them newfangled mish-powered ships float through the air, but sh true ships are supposed to float on water, right, Shunny? Yeah, I love the way he talks. Uh, he talked to this kid. Tom, my kiss and mittens ran away. Okay, we will. We will. Now, we can go all the way back now to the, uh, the entrance of the town, of the city. And if we're if we, I don't know, 
if we got our wits about us, we might be able to find his cat. Just something else that I always feel the need to do. And I've just, uh, I've just realised, when I tried running past Dante, the sign maker, I think that he, the event I was after only happens after you go to the ticket booth, which we still haven't done yet. So that's what we're going to do once we find this damn cat. I wouldn't call this a side quest as such, but it's just something you can do for uh, kind of a cool reward. There we go, there's the cat. And Tom is reunited. And now he fucks off and we have to run all the way back <sighs> to the uh, to the waterside, to the steeple. If we talk to him, he might give us another card for our troubles. Luckily, this place isn't too big. Yeah, he's, he's not. Uh, it's not happening. So that's got to be. That's got to be the reason. There they are. Thanks. Here, yeah, this is for you. We get a bomb card. Staple Final Fantasy enemy, as is most of these cards, actually. Where is it? There it is. Arrows. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. That Ironite card, though, that is that's pretty nice. Oh, I like that. Right then. So back to the ticket booth. Let's uh, get our ticket stamped. We can go see the show. And uh, maybe play a few cards before we do, possibly. Just to show it off. Can I help you, son? I don't know what the hell this guy is. He's supposed to be a dog or something. Um, what's showing today? Yeah, so... Tell me about Alexandria. The Kingdom of Alexandria is a fine country ruled by Queen Bran. Something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake! Aww. And that's someone dropping the piano again. I love how Vivi's head just <laughs> struck straight back up. Goblin card, fan card, skeleton card, not that amazing really. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. Thanks. So where is Alleyway Jack? Is he in an alleyway? Maybe. So, if we run past him now. Oh, we fall over. And. Oh dear. You made me miss, you little klutz. Now, to be fair, that's kind of just your lack of concentration. We didn't bump into you. But he's finished it anyway. That was a stretch. Now, he is a dog, definitely. This little cute little blue bandana. You're gonna leave your ladder there? That's careless. Someone could steal it. Well, aren't you charming? Uh, are you Alleyway Jack? <laughs> oh, well, that's a tempting offer. Yeah, I've always wanted to be a slave. Alright, okay. Awesome, now for your first assignment. Go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. Right, uh, well, I can't see anyone, but I think someone's coming. Well, how can we tell? We can't see down the alleyway. So, we'll just say, engage according to mission parameters. Well, there was some fancy talk. He's, t he's, he's took the ladder. Now, this guy... That guy, he's cool, but if you run into him, he will st he will pickpocket you. He will steal your hard-earned, or hard-stolen... He'll steal the money that we stole, so we don't want that. But anyway, um, if we go back... Is he going to do the same? Oh no, he did! He still took it. Oh, we got mugged. God oh, damn it. And he ran off. Now if we go... Let's see if we can try and find him, I suppose. Actually, before we do that, you know what? 
We'll just go see what this rat kid wants to do with that ladder. Probably nothing good. Oh. You gonna mug me again? 41 this time? Holy shit, I didn't realize you could do it twice. Bastard. So basically, all that money that we just went around collecting was gone. Into the steeple. Okay, now we're going to climb up this tower. It's very dangerous, you go first. How about no? Okay. Ow! It's a good question. Sorry about that, Koopo. That's Koopo, he's a Moogle. Now, I've said this, I know I mentioned this last time I played this. Moogles say Koopo a lot as a word for friend, I think. But this guy's name is Koopo. Used to confuse the hell out of me. Pleased to meet you. So he's gonna enter us in a Moogle diary? Oh, it's save game stuff, yes. Regain health using a tent. I understand. He's climbing a ladder while holding a ladder. Oh, you really are going to have to stop calling me that. Who's this? Still skin. Oh, nice little outfit he's got there. Never realised it was like a camouflaged bandana that he's wearing. You leaving? This time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Koopo. That was a brief uh, farewell. Say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Oh, cute little things. Just want to pop the little heads. Very special one, Koopo. Shut it. I'll get up there when I'm good and ready, thank you very much. Yeah, we might as well save. Although first, we shall inquire about this Mognet thing. Mognet is a mail delivery system between Moogles. And this starts a very lengthy side quest. So we need to help deliver the mail, because for some reason whoever was supposed to be doing it isn't doing a very good job. So yeah, sure. So he wants us to deliver a letter to Monty! Cool. And if we check again... So it always pays dividends to, to check this magnet with every Moogle you find and check it a number of times just to make sure they don't have anything. Because sometimes they'll already have a letter that they want to read to you, so... I mean, you don't need to, but this side quest, I think I did finish it the first time I played this game, but um, we're going to try and do it again anyway. Right, uh, so we can save, and I think actually this is where I'll end the video for now. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this isn't too redundant, I know replaying a game I've already done, but it has been so long, and like I've said, I really would like to do a better job of it this time. I can't stand my original uh, videos of this, but that's, you know, something that uh, I'm going to have to deal with, but I, I, I hope you enjoy this. So, yes, see you in the next video.